Hey folks, just want to show you a quick demo of how you can get Event Catalog MCP server up and running um, in your clients um, with Event Catalog. So what this will allow you to do is actually talk to your Event Catalog, get insights and all sorts of things in your editors, in Claude Desktop, Top, or any um, client MCP client out there really. And so in this demo, I want to show you how to quickly just set up Cursor as just one of them. Um, we're going to be using Cursor to talk to Event Catalog, to get schemas, ask questions, and actually generate some code for us based on our architecture. Um, and if you're not familiar with it, uh, this is how it kind of works. You have an M MCP server, so with Event Catalog, this will actually be running on your machine. Um, just using one command, and I'll show you how to get it set up in a minute. Uh, remember, Event Catalog is like technology agnostic, so you can actually integrate it with Open API, Async API, AWS, Azure, Solace, all these things down here. Um, so you can have these things. Um, these things represent your architecture. So you can document your architecture and use this documentation and context within your cursor, within your IDE, right? So your developers and your team should be able to ask questions like, hey, what events do we have? Or I'm looking to do this particular thing. Can you please help me? And then actually your, your, your uh, MCP client, in this case, cursor, would go and request this information from Event Catalog and provide that context back to you. So really, really powerful um, things emerging and some uh, use cases and uh, some things to think about. So what I'm gonna do now is just show you how this thing works. So I'm gonna show you a demo in Cursor. So if I head over to Cursor, this is my IDE, right? So the first thing you'll find here is I have a Cursor folder, okay? And I have an mcp.json. Now if I go to this and zoom in, you can see this. we're telling Cursor that we're gonna be using this MCP event catalog thing, okay? So what we're saying here, we run MPX, which is just the, um, we're going to run this package, um, you know, uh, as, as the server. And the package is MCP server here, event catalog. And then the second parameter here, we're going to give it a URL to your catalog. Now, if you're running this locally, this could be localhost 3000. That's what event catalog runs on. Or this would be the URL to your particular um, catalog. Okay, so, so the server knows where to talk to your things. So the next thing is, well, what we're going to do is actually going to try and use this. Okay, so I have a demo catalog. And what I'm going to do is uh, start from scratch. So let's say we, um, I, you know, need to send an email using resend to customers that place orders uh, on our system. So the first question as a developer, do we have, you know, do we have events um, already in our architecture um, that I can use? Okay. So the first thing it's going to do is going to say, okay, I'm going to try and find out. And you see here, it's actually talking to event catalog. It's trying to call the get events um, tool on event catalog, so I run this. So this gives uh, cursor the ability to have context, really, of what the hell is going on. So let me have a look at all the related events. I found these for you. Now the order is confirmed. So these are actually events coming from event catalog and the information descriptions here. So the order confirmed sounds interesting. Uh, how to implement this? Subscribe to the order confirmed effect. Great. So I said, okay, great. Um, can you show me the schema for the uh, order confirmed event? Okay, so we're just diving in. We're looking around at the moment. Get schema. So we run this tool, and hopefully it finds. Yeah, let's have a look at the uh, schema, but not email address. Okay, so get services. So it's just trying to get some more information about our architecture, what services are sending and receiving these particular things. So let's have a look. What's happening here? And here is the schema. Okay, so this is straight from event catalog. This is what you've documented in event catalog is now accessible to us in our IDE. Okay, so it's telling us about some user ID stuff, whatever else, and the email address. But now it's actually trying to do some stuff for us, which is great, um, using the resend and the um, stuff. So what I'm going to do is just stop that there and say, okay, uh, great. Let's use the uh, order confirm schema and write a function that will send an, uh, an email, you know, in TypeScript. Um, something like that, you know, if you imagine your use case, your schemas and everything else and what you're trying to do. So what it's going to try and do for us, it looks like it's trying to create some types based on the schemas, trying to get, going to use resend and format some currencies, whatever else, and gener basically generate this thing for us. Um, so remember, all this is from event catalog. So the context is from event catalog. So we can actually use this thing and, you know, and do whatever you want. And your use case, you might be using Kafka, you might be using other brokers, and basically you can, you can, Get the context you need directly in your editor um, so you can see it's doing all sorts of things here um, you know and we can just apply these if we want to yeah sure you know we'll, we'll take this we'll take that or whatever else um, 
as you can see, we could just go through and to do that. So this is just a demo really, you know, I can come back in here and just say, okay, well, um, what services do we, what services do we have in event catalog, you know, and get rid of this. And it will say, okay, I'm gonna go get the services. So now the whole idea really is if you are a developer uh, building event driven systems or your architecture, uh, remember um, async API and open API specifications can also be uh, exported and seen in this tool. So you can actually just start talking to your architecture and saying, look, I want to do this particular thing. Can you find me some things that we already have and point me in the right direction? Which I think is really, really interesting and a really cool way of actually uh, building uh, some of your applications going forward. So I think there's huge value in here. I'd be curious what uh, you think. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord or get in contact. Now, the best way to get started is to head over to the docs on eventcatalog.dev. Okay, if you go to docs, getting started, and on down here on the left, we have um, the MCP server introduction, and you can see here you can get started, some use cases and benefits, the code repo, and then we can also set up cursor, set up WinServ, set up Claude Desktop. You can come in here. You can see the tools and you can see the resources that are exposed to you and what you can do. There is a to-do list here. If you have any, any items or features that you may want to see, feel free to ping me. But I'm super excited by this. Hope you are too. I'd be very curious what uh, you do. If you have any questions, feel free to jump on this Discord icon up here. That's a bit gray at the moment. Um, this one here and ask some questions and yeah really curious uh, what you do and hope you like this video it's just a quick introduction and you can come over to the docs or this repo here just to get started so with that uh, thank you for watching this video